Now, I'm at a gas station, and I think this is a good place to, um, well, start this video. And as you guys can tell uh, by the title, I'm considering getting, uh, or at the very least, test riding a electric motorcycle. Most people kind of go like, really? Why? The crazy thing is, I've actually had a number of people ask me this um, ever since I bought my car. Whoa, that's a big one. Okay, there we go. Uh, ever since I bought my car, a lot of people ask me, well, would you ever consider a um, electric motor motorcycle? And I, I have to tell you, I've said this before, I think. Um, I didn't, I never considered it. In fact, I, until I had my car, I really honestly never considered, I, I always thought it was silly. Um, but now I am. I, I see the benefits of having an electric motorcycle. So it's very tough. It's very tough to, um, to not pay attention to it. And no matter how much I try not to think about it, it comes up. So why? Well, it kind of has to do with, um, I don't know, those guys, Tesla. And that's because, this, as many of you guys might know, I own a Tesla. And I know, I know, most of you guys are like sick and tired of hearing about my Tesla. And one of the biggest negatives, I think, with regards to the motorcycle itself, for, you know, to having an electric motorcycle, is definitely going to be the exhaust. You know, this thing, everybody can hear me coming. And that, that's a big thing. Why am I considering this? Why am I, you know, even thinking about electric motorcycles? I'm thinking about them for me. And I love exploring. I love going from point A to point B. But I got to tell you guys, because I have somewhat of a, I guess, respect for side to myself, <laughs> uh, I don't really take this bike out in a lot of neighborhoods at night or early morning. Today, Sunday morning, early morning, I wanted to take the bike out really early and I actually didn't do it because I would have to push the bike probably about a block before I'm not gonna, you know, actually annoy the heck out of everybody or wake them up. And is my bike overly loud? No, it's not overly loud, but it's loud enough that it's gonna wake somebody up or somebody's kid up. And I do pay attention to that because I don't know, I'm a decent human being, or at least I try to be. I think it, it depends on, number, on a number of things now. Charging the bike and range and those kind of things. Uh, well, I don't think that's as big of a problem. I'm already doing that with my car, so, you know, I don't have the range anxiety and all that stuff that people talk about. I, I think it's kind of silly. Of course, that depends on the vehicle you have too, I guess. So that should more than likely apply uh, to the motorcycles as well, just like with the cars. But I know with my car, I have no range anxiety, and I, most people who own a Tesla, they don't really have a range anxiety, but I, I don't know. I, because I use the motorcycle for just, you know, here and there, um, trips and fun like that, you know, nothing major, I don't know if I'd necessarily have that problem. I'd obviously have to do a lot more research into it, but when it's all said and done, I think I'm, I'm used to charging the car already. Um, I think that's, for me, that mentality is kind of a non-issue, if you will. Pretty decent ranges on electric motorcycles, just from the quick little research I've done. And when I say pretty decent, I mean more than what I need in a single day. So, you know, with that said, I don't care if it takes uh, 10 hours to charge or if it takes two hours to charge because typically I'll go out for two, three hours or four hours, um, heck, even six hours. And the first thing I do is, well, go home, chill out and relax. So I'm probably not going to ride again until the very next day, which is plenty of time to charge up anything, be it a car or the motorcycle. I'm not worried about charging the, the motorcycle. I'm not worried about, you know, range and stuff like that. I'm more worried about you know how's the feel gonna be and am i gonna be comfortable with i think the biggest biggest uh, thing that i guess holds me back from all this is gonna be the sound those things are torquey as heck and but they don't have they, they have no no way for you to indicate to anybody that you're around and obviously relying on people to you know be good drivers and watch and look around them to see if you're there it makes it that much harder so the, the exhaust the sound is really the biggest thing that holds me back uh, 
and, and it's the one that one thing that gives me a little hesitation it's not the charge it's not the battery it's not the range it's not the safety it's not the fun it's not the torque it's not the power it, it's none of those it's it's uh, safety in the sense of can people hear me coming and they if they can't are they gonna be as aware that I'm there you know as they would be on this bike and I'm pretty sure they're not because that thing is quiet it's it, it's like you, you can scare a mouse that's how quiet those guys are wow this guy is just cutting corners so because they're so quiet that is a huge huge uh, downside I guess uh, in my opinion at least it is to me so I, I don't know I, I don't know how to look at it and I don't know which is the best way to look at it I really hope you guys give me some um, some uh, information and stuff like that in the comments just to kind of say it one way or the other I, like I said if you agree with me I think the, the lack of sound is the biggest uh, concern I would have you guys let me know in the comments and uh, I'm, I'm curious I'm curious what your thoughts are on this I know some of you guys don't ride so I'd love to hear your comments I know some of you guys who do ride I'd love to hear your comments I kind of want to see uh, both sides of this and um, yeah let's go from there so with all that said I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching as always you guys know we love you till next time please drive safe ride safe stay off your cell phones don't forget to love comment and uh, like comment and subscribe because you can't love you can just like and uh, as always Love Ride Explorer. Take it easy, boys and girls. Bye-bye.